Hi, I'm Jamie Harvin with New Roots at EXP Realty. I'm here with Ryan Goldberg at Guaranteed Rate. Ryan, thank you so much for joining me. For there me. are so many mortgage questions that my clients have, and I wanted to bring Ryan in to address all of them for you. So make sure you tune in to our four part, four part mini series about all of your mortgage questions. We're gonna have them all answered here. So the first question on everyone's mind, interest rates, right? You can't think of a mortgage right now without talking about interest rates. So can you buy down the interest rate, right? The people are not happy with where the interest rates are. How does that work? So yeah. Um, <laughs> First question everybody asks, honestly, it's uh, it's a big topic. It's a big part of the whole industry at uh, the moment. Uh, yeah, buying your rate down is actually becoming much more of a um, popular decision. Um, some people feel it's the necessary uh, to be able to get their payments where they want them to be. But you can buy your interest rate down, absolutely. There's, um, there's actually two different things that we offer, options that we offer at guaranteed rate. Um, the first thing that I think is probably most important is our free float down option. Guaranteed rate is one of the only companies I'm aware of that has a free float down option where you can actually lock in a rate at where we're currently at. And if the market drops by an eighth of a percent or more, we have a free float down option where we don't charge you any fees and we can lower your rate down one time before closing to get you down to where the, where the lower rates drop down to. Which is really great. I know my clients have done that multiple times with you um, and you're only allowed to do that once. Right, right? one time between, between locking in and the closing date. Right, so going under contract, locking into your rate and um, ultimately your closing. Yep, and now the other option that's becoming more popular is buying your rate down. What is buying your rate down? Buying with points. So um, one point is 1% of your loan amount. It costs uh, whatever your loan amount is, it'll cost you 1% of that loan amount to buy your rate down. And that difference sometimes can be more commonly than not, it's about a quarter of a percent on that first point to buy the rate down. Um, every point after that fluctuates a little bit. It's not quite as much of a quarter of a point drop in the rate, but um, sometimes you can see about an eighth of a percent for every point after that. So if you're going to do that, you would want to do a breakdown analysis in order to really understand like if it's going to make sense for you. Yeah, the cost. The cost of what it's going to be for you extra out of pocket at closing and then how much it's going to save you per month. Typically, I do the math for clients and it's usually about a five and a half year savings that it takes them to be able to gain that money back. Right, because some people don't often realize that when you take a mortgage for 30 years, that's 360 payments. So there's 360 payments with interest yep. of whatever interest rate you're locked in at. Correct. So by buying that down, that may be more upfront, but will ultimately save you over the life of the loan. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, and it is becoming a more popular question. Um, I wouldn't say every client is doing it nowadays. Uh, and the reason for that is because we kind of feel like rates are going to come back down sometime in the next year, year and a half, um, and a lot of people will be refinancing at that point. So some people are, you know, juggling the thought of, do I spend the money now to get a lower rate right now, or do I wait and see if the rates are going to come down lower and refinance at a later, at a later date? Right. So it's just important to know what your options are. And if you are planning on refinancing, being aware that you have to pay closing costs again. So making sure that you include that in your breakdown analysis as well. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a hot market and it's still it's still very busy and the interest rates, even though they've risen, haven't really changed too much about the, uh, about the buying power of people. Definitely, so. definitely, which is good news yeah. um, since there's so much negativity out there that's really positive. And make sure you tune in to the next segment, which will go into more mortgage questions in more depth.